My father's story began um, about the 2007. Um, we came to know Farrell from uh, one of Dina's work friends um, who um, introduced her, invited her to come to Farrell Church. At that point, um, we were visiting a couple other churches and, and Farrell was one of the churches that we visit. We, we were still in the old building. Everything was very nice and cozy. We're you know, in the smaller space there. And immediately, um, you know, the, the, the sermon that Pastor Josh was um, speaking um, was Jesus speaking to me right away. And it was uh, on a lot of things that I was dealing personally. Um, and Dean and I were dealing as a couple. I was resistant to uh, come into church. Church is on Sunday and that's the same day as the NFL football games. So, um, um, you know, uh, it, it was, it was, it was, uh, it was difficult. But, um, but um, you know, uh, as I was coming and every time I came, the Lord really spoke to me. So I began to uh, dive into the Word. Um, I began to read the Bible quite a bit. I started meeting with uh, Pastor uh, Steve and Pastor Ricky. We would meet at Starbucks at like five in the morning, you know, uh, and we would meet, um, we would talk about what we're reading, help fortify my knowledge and um, just answer a lot of the questions that I think as a new believer that you have my daily devotions and, and, and you know, um, digging into the Word. I took classes of, you know, the, the uh, discipleship classes, the digging deeper classes, um, and that's how I, I just grew, you know, and became more mature in the Word. My immediate family, you know, Dina is, um, she's an awesome, um, godly woman. Um, you know, her families are all um, God, godly people. They're all believers. They all serve. And, and Dina is no different. Uh, she, she loves to you know, serve the Lord. Uh, she loves the Word. She, you know, reads her Bible constantly. Uh, she, you know, is in constant prayer. She, she prays for our kids, for our homes. She prays for everything. I love being part of the elders board to, uh, to be able to you know serve and to you know um, help our church move forward, help our church um, be stable, um, and then just to help uh, you know the leadership team with any task that they need help. We're doing these daily devotions, you know, so that keeps me strong with the word. Uh, I think that um, you know, no matter if you are a young, um, you know. Uh, believer or a mature believer I think that you know just constantly reading the Bible I think the daily devotions are essential I think that it is how our faith grows and it is our uh, two-way conversation with God I want to encourage um, you know the uh, sisters out there that have husbands um, that are like myself you know that are stubborn and that are hard-headed and that don't want to go to church and so forth. Um, I think that I am a living testimony of 1 Peter chapter 3. I encourage you, continue. Do all the things that you do, you know, the daily devotion, go to church regularly, seek the word, um, you know, serve the Lord. And that, and prayer, you know, invoke the Holy Spirit to work in uh, your spouse. We'll never